Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I have some tags that I have previously cut out. They were part of the Craftly haul for Creep on June, and once I cut something out, it's just, I, I just can't not use it. That's, I just can't not use it. So I clearly had an ideal of going somewhere with these, but I do know that I was going to do something with the backgrounds because I, yeah, pink's not something I use, so this is just me crafting. If you want to come along and make these tags look totally different. Uh, I think I'm going to start out with, I have some of these Distress Mica Sprays. This one is Tarnished Brass, this one is Antique Bronze, and this one is Brushed Pewter. I'm thinking about spraying those on after I ink them up. I think. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just get these separated. Ha! Love the Plague Doctor. So fun. Let's get the people out of the way. Or ghost, or what, what have you, whatever they are. And let's see. This is what we are left with. Put those up there because we can use those to put on here. Going to see how this is green. This is purple. So this for me is the fastest way to get some ink on something if you're just wanting to cover up the background. And this is the villainous potion. Just to put some on there. Just a little bit like that. There. We have some ink on it now. The other side is still white. We'll deal with that later. But I just really wanted to see how these, uh, what do you call it? Mica sprays, because there's probably water in there, how that will react to this. Oh, that was my sponge. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, but I really don't want to spray those because they're going to go everywhere. Uh, let's get a bag. this bag. I know it's probably not the way to do this. I do have a splatter box up there, but I don't want to get up and get it. So let's just do this. Let's see how this goes. Uh, it's purple, so maybe the pewter would go pretty on it. I've already shook them up. this a bit see how it sprays hmm that might be okay looks different let's see what we've got here okay well, definitely different than when we started uh, let's set this aside Let's go on to another one. So I think that's how we're gonna do. We'll just set that up there, get some inking done. And that's pretty, but I don't think it's something I would, I'm going to work with right now. Let's get the lid off that. This one is forest green, forest moss. Let's just get some on there. It's mainly the blue that I want to get rid of because I'm don't use blue that much at the moment. As soon as I say I don't really use a color that much, then I get a commission. <laughs> they want a blue journal. <laughs> that's the way it works. I think that's funny. Okay, let's just pop this in the bag. And this just may turn into a big mess and I may not even uh, post it. Tarnished brass or the Antique bronze. How about we try the antique bronze? I don't even know if you can see that. You can see that. Okay. Let's see. Get a little bit of... Pump it up a little. Ooh. That's pretty. That is very pretty. I like that one. Let's get this one out. 
Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Turn that into something totally different. Okay, we may just get these inked and spritzed. That may be all we get done. Let's see, let's try a different color. I don't want to do red. Let's see, what is this? This is black, why not? Just do black, since that may cover that. I did leave the lid off of this last night. That's not really covering that well because I left the lid off of it. Oh, I have some water. Hold on, let's reach the water here. Water? That is water. Maybe I'll just spray this ink pad a tiny bit. Hmm, we might get something. Out with that, let's give this a go. A little bit going on there. It doesn't really want to move. <laughs> it's so dry. That is funny. I had forgotten about that. Okay, let's get a different black. Or we could do brown. Let's just do brown on top of it. Well, why not? What do we have here? We have vintage photo. Let's just do that. Oh, well, that's fine. I just want to get some something on there just to totally change the look of things here. Because that's not something I could work with right now. Okay, I think we have some coverage there. That vintage photo helped out, didn't it? I like that. Let's get the bag back down. You have to pull it up a little bit there because I don't, because, because I don't want that to go everywhere. Let's try the other one. Um, tarnished brass. Looks kind of like gold. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> they uh, really settle quickly. Okay. Wait a minute. I thought they were. Okay. Now let's just spritz this one. Just trying to make these into something I can use. They're already cut out. I just don't like to totally just throw things away. If I can make something else out of it, that's pretty. It's going to be really pretty. Okay, that one aside. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's see. We have a few left here. Well, a few more than one, two. Oh, that's it. We only have three more to go. Well, that went by fast. I thought there were a lot more than that. Okay, what color do we want this one? Wonder if the brown will go. This is ground espresso. This one might do well. Give us coverage. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty actually. Some quick coverage here. Trying to just go one direction because if I come back and forth, I'll crinkle it all up. A little bit more here. There. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and get all of them, the rest of them done since I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> that say that very loosely. Okay, I did a green one. Let's just, let's do a purple one over this. I think that's the purple. Yes, Villainous Potion. Definitely purple. That's a lot of good coverage. Okay. Like I said, I may just only post this one and then we'll do another one, seeing how we're going to decorate them up. Change them so we can use them. Get that pink covered. There. The 
that is really pretty purple. Okay, that one. One more. Let's see if I have another black. Oh, here's another black. I don't even know what kind it is. Well, there's, I'm sure it's not distressed. It's probably just regular ink, but let's see what we've got. A little bit, a little bit of coverage. Let's go one way. We don't crinkle it up. All I'm trying to do is just put some coverage down and change the total look of this tag. They're already cut out. They are good to go. I just need to alter them. There. <laughs> That's a messy one. Okay. Now, let's get this back down here. And hopefully the silver hasn't... Nope, it's good. I don't know how this is going to react since this is distressed. It may just be a big glob. Let me pull this up a little bit. I just don't want the spray to be all over my desk. Okay, that one. Let's see. Yeah, these are turning out pretty good. I had no idea what to expect, so let's see. This, Ooh. the bronze, wait a minute, this is the an antiqued, I didn't even put the D on there, antiqued bronze. Put more on there because that white is coming through and this one may be all bronze. But that's okay, because that's really pretty. Yeah, this one, too much on there. There we go. Bend it this way. There. That is really pretty. Really pretty. Let's put this one over there to dry. One more. And did that one. This one is the tarnished brass. Okay. Pull that up a little bit. Yep, I'm putting more on this one just because I like them. That's a really pretty color. Or metallics or... No, they're mica sprays. That's what they're called. Mica sprays. Okay. When it dries, it'll be stiffer than this. But is that not pretty or what? That is gorgeous. And that may not be how you're supposed to use them, but that's what I'm using them for. The moments. I'm going to take this off the desk and put it aside. And let's go ahead and get the first one and see what we have here. Ooh, that's pretty. You can see the shimmer. Mica sprays. Excuse me. Uh, let's see the next one if it's dry. Well, that's pretty too. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. You can see that. With that green. That turned out pretty. I don't know what that's from. Uh, let's see if this one is dry. Ooh, that turned out cool. I like that. Totally changed just with some ink and some mica sprays. That's pretty. see here those look pretty much the same but they no they don't you can see the green on that one okay what's next this one that's really pretty you can still see the black and white but it's not so I can't use it uh, let me see the other purple one that's really pretty came out really pretty with the Oh, I'll tell you the names again in a minute. I don't have them memorized. And this is the one we just did. This one's pretty wet. I thought there were more than that. That's only six. That's it. <laughs> okay, 
So we use the brushed pewter, the Distress Mica Spray, and we used the tarnished brass, and we used the antique bronze. And I'm going to stop right here, and we will come back in the next video and see what we can do to make these more usable. But this was just with the Distress Oxide inks, Distress ink, and then some of them were with the archival ink. And then we just spray the mica sprays on them. And they look totally different. They're going to be usable. That is amazing. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.